Today's meditation is on 1 Corinthians chapter 3. I no longer belong to this world. When I was an infant in Christ, spiritually immature, I had to be fed with milk. I couldn't handle the solid food of more advanced teachings because I wasn't ready for it. I was still controlled by my sinful nature, living a life dominated by the mindset of the flesh. But now, I am no longer jealous of my brothers and sisters in Christ. I do not compare myself with others or quarrel like a child and end up taking sides. I do not live my life centered on myself, behaving like an unbeliever. I don't divide myself by doctrine from other believers or boast about my earthly teachers. I follow them only as they follow Christ. Jesus is the goal I aspire to. Earthly teachers are only God's servants, bringing the good news to the world. We all have to do the work that God assigns to us. I may plant the seed in someone's heart, and another believer comes behind me and waters it, but God alone brings the supernatural growth. I know it's not important who does the planting or who does the watering. Both are equally important, and we are on the same team. We will each be rewarded for our own work. We are co-workers with God. I am part of God's cultivated garden, the house he is building. I am God's holy temple. Because of God's grace to me, the foundation has been laid by expert builders and now I am building on it. But I know I must be very careful to do my work according to God's standards. I am not empowered to lay an alternative foundation other than the one that already exists, Jesus Christ. It is up to me to build with the materials God has provided and to do excellent work. On the Judgment Day, Fire will reveal what kind of work I have done and whether it has any value. If my work survives, I will receive a reward. But if my work is burned up, I will suffer great loss. I will be saved, but like someone barely escaping through a wall of flames. I am God's inner sanctuary, and the Spirit of God has made his permanent home in me. God will destroy anyone who destroys this temple, for God's temple is holy, and that is exactly who I am. I don't deceive myself or live under any illusion by thinking I am wise by this world's standards. I have become wiser by being a fool for God, for the wisdom of this world is foolishness to God. The wise are trapped in the snare of their own cleverness, and their thoughts are worthless as far as God is concerned. So I don't boast about following any particular human leader, for I already have everything. It has all been given for my benefit. Whether enlightened teachers, or the world, or life and death, or the present and the future, everything belongs to me and I belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.